Any uh, any knocks or bruises from last weekend? First of all, no, all okay. How the new boys settled in? Been really well. They, you know they've they've settled in good with the group. Been working hard. Obviously, we had a a good week this week with uh, the game on the Sunday. No game Tuesday, so we were able to have a good training session. Has there been much of a break for them? I mean, you know, it was there was a big build up to the Brighton game. Have you had to sort of just tick them over in training or, or what? Yeah, listen, there's there's the group who, who obviously played the majority of the game. Their GPS results were through the roof, so we've had to be very very careful with them because they've. Um, you know, the amount of running and the amount of distance they covered, high speed distance was was crazy. So, you know, we've had to wrap them up in cotton wool a little bit, um, especially the likes of Ryan Taylor, Josh Labadie, uh, Liam Shepard, Ryan Haynes, Josh Sheehan, who covered, you know, unbelievable amounts of uh, distance. So it was, um, we've had to be careful. Mm. Um, but you're, you're back home again and a team you're pretty familiar with this season, Salford. Yeah, it's, uh, it's always interesting coming up against uh, one of Richie's teams. So I'm looking forward to it. You know, they had a good result the other night. Scored late on, but three points is all that matters. And they'll be trying to do the same again this weekend. But, you know, hopefully we um, we come out on top. You've got 26 games to go and you, you, you've got more home games than away games. Do you think that can play a big part for you? Probably say yes last season, um, but obviously the way we've been playing this season, it's um, it could uh, affect us if I'm honest. So um, we'll see. Look, you know it's always good to be at home. You know we've still got a good record at home this season, and hopefully we can continue that, especially against the teams around us. Because you've only had the one league defeat at home, so your your home record is not dreadful, is it? I mean, you wouldn't be second on the table if it was. No, our home record's phenomenal. Um, and you look at that game, we, we gave the points away. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping for you know, a better um, better outcome this time. But it's going to be tough. You know, I'm not sure what the pitch is going to be like. It's not going to be great, we know that. But it's, um, look, it is what it is. We just need to get on and it's about getting the points on the board now. You haven't changed the way you play so far because of the pitch. Is that something you will have to look at? <clears throat> yeah, I think so, Rob. We're going to have to, you know, it's, we're going to have to look at different, um, just different stages of the game. You know, you don't want to be giving teams um, any any more hope than they've already got or, you know, any head start through, you know, an honest mistake. So, we, you know, we need to be, we need to be playing the percentages and um, look, I just want the points on the board. It's as simple as that. Because you have played some eye-catching stuff this season. Everybody is saying that, not just me. Um, and you don't want to sacrifice that entirely, but the pitch may dictate. Yeah, it may. And like I said, you know, I've what I like I've said before, what I have learned is I w- it won't be continuing. You know, we won't carry it on onto, an, say, a good away pitch. You know, we will be playing football, simple as that. So um, it is what it is. Horses for courses, all the old um, cliches. You know, it's um, it is what it is. You know, I'm I'm pretty sure Salford might change it tomorrow with uh, a few more physical players in their team than than usual. So it shows that they they would um, teams are going to come here and, and adapt to, or try and adapt to to the state of the pitch. Yeah, because they have to face the same as you, don't they? I mean, it's obvious to say, but. You can often forget that we you concentrate on your own stuff, but they've got to think about that as well. Yeah, exactly. And listen, let's be let's be honest. Nobody knows this pitch better than us. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's hope that rings true. Um, we're in the window. You brought three in already. Um, have you got any more in the pipeline yet? I've had a disaster this week in the transfer. Uh, Trying to bring players in. Um, Thought it was close to a few. Some good names, some very good signings. Um, but falling short, the last hurdle. Not to do with finance, just, you know, parent clubs changing their mind, wanting to keep players, injuries to one or two of them. 
yeah, it's uh, it's been a testing week in that in that regards. But listen, you know, it's we go on to Plan B. Well, you're halfway through the window now, aren't you? Almost exactly. So there's still another half to go. Well, the way this is going, it's probably all going to be done on the last day. Uh, I mean, you're expecting that the usual late rush. Well, not if if I could get the players in that I've spoken to or the, with the clubs I've spoken to this week, I probably would have been done this week. You know, I've got my list. I had my list. And uh, yeah, it's not quite worked out that way. And does that dictate as well who leaves for you as well? So players you might have thought were going to leave may not if you can't get others in. There'll be one or two that can go anyway. Anything... Uh, have you had any offers for your players? No. I mean, everybody looks at Josh and again, he looked decent against Brighton, didn't he? Yeah, listen, he's he's, he's a fantastic player. You know, he's... Um, he'll be one that is probably here to the end of the season unless something happens in the next two weeks. So, you know, he, um, he'll give his chance of being a free agent and I'm going to look at what what comes up for him. But that's not to rule out that if we go to League One, we won't keep him. Yeah. Is that something that you just have to accept as a manager these days? That um, I mean, you don't want him to go, do you? You want him to stay. Sorry, I got something in my eye. Um, <laughs> no, of course not. Listen, that can cause problems when they're not really, you know, fully committed um, or, you know, they kind of... Don't put the full effort in, but that's not the case with Josh. He works extremely hard day in, day out. Um, and I know there's not going to be any problem with that. You know, he's um, he's enjoying his football. And look, I never understand it, but why players would do that, because the better they play, you never know. That last three months or four months of the season, you could catch somebody else's eye and it could be worth an extra couple of grand a week or a league above. He, you know, you don't, you don't know. So I, I, I wouldn't, I don't know why some players would do that. So you'd rather him stay and see at his contract than somebody come in for him this month and you lose him. Yeah, I would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the board think the same way. <laughs> yeah, I think you know they, they're quite supportive of it. Um, it is what it is. You know, it's unless somebody triggers his buy out, then there's no point really. Mm. You know, for for. Especially the later the window goes, it's no, um, it's no point because it's going to be tough, you know, harder and harder to get that right player in. So, yeah. One player you have brought in, Jack Evans. You know about his history. You said it in, when he arrived, he's he's overcome a lot of hurdles to get where he is now. Um, he's some example, isn't he? Given um, what everything he's been through. Listen, you know anybody. Anybody who's been affected by cancer, whether it's their parents, their grandparents, you know, siblings, you know, you know how tough it is. You know, I've I've been affected by it. You know, my mother died at 48. Um, my great auntie brought me up as well. She she died. So it's it's a very very um, horrible disease. It's, um, it's it's saddening because they go downhill the way they go downhill. Um, Jack was really ill and to come back from it and not only come back from it and, and live a, a fairly um, healthy life, he's worked extremely hard to, to get back to a level where he was still a professional footballer. So, you know, that is, that's a great mindset. That's, you know, you can say whatever you want to say, but it's a, it's a fantastic, um, mindset and work ethic to to be able to overcome the cancer in the first place and um i just hope that it stays that way because he's a he's a smashing young lad and what will he bring to your team well you know i I need to get him up to speed in terms of you know the the pace and physicality of lead two but he's he's extremely good on the ball he sees passes um Probably should have signed him in the summer because the pitch is killing him. But uh, yeah, it's it's one of them. He, you know, he needs to be patient. He needs to buy this time. But all, during all that, he'll be getting stronger and 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 more ready for League Two. I'd say. Yeah, and last one. All three are available for tomorrow. Yeah, all three yeah. of the new signings. Yeah. 
Mike, wish you the best. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Beth, do you want to go next? Yeah, just one question from me. Obviously, you've got two games in hand compared to a couple around you. Uh, just thoughts on uh, how it feels to be at the top, we you know, like with Rob said, 20-odd games to go. Oh, listen, as long as we're in the top three come the last game of the season, I couldn't care, if I'm honest, Beth. It's, um, you know, we was on top for a long time. Obviously, got a couple of games in hand, one over Carlisle. And we got to put the pressure on them there because they've just had their next three games called off. So, but we have got to, We've got a difficult period. We've got Carlisle, Salford, Cheltenham, uh, Oldham away. You know, it's, it's it's going to be a tough, tough period. So, look, it's um, if we can come through the next three weeks with a good points return, then we really are in a in a in a good position. And um, if we don't, then we've we've got a bit to do. Um, the last say. 21 games of the season so it's um, but you know it's, it's nothing's lost nothing's won in the next three four weeks but it would give us a massive um, I'd say advantage and boost because it's the teams around us as well oh, it would be so good wouldn't it the last couple of games or whatever we get the fans back as well you know kind of just taking you home wouldn't it well let's get let's get to the position where we uh, guarantee promotion and then we'll get them back I don't want anything jinx in it. <laughs> no, absolutely. Good luck. Good luck on the weekend. Thank you. Uh, Chris Kerwin. Um, I might just bring up that GPS one. What sort of distances were they covering then? Was it much more than um, normal? Yeah, because of the extra time, Chris. Just because of that or, or in the... Well, um, I hope it was. The, otherwise, yeah. yeah, otherwise they they might as well give up football and go to long distance running. <laughs> it was... Um, look, the top... Top one covered nearly 70 and a half K, um, which usual, the highest one usually in, in, in a game is round about 11, 11 and a half. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, you think about it, it's almost 50% on what they usually do. So it's um, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on the loan situations, is it Jamie Devitt and Jamie Proctor, are you closer to decision on them for... I'll uh, speak to them both after tomorrow's game. Okay, because they're both it, technically meant... Well, it's meant to expire, isn't it, after tomorrow, is that correct? Uh, 17th, yeah. Yeah, okay. All good. Um, on, on Salford, um, Richie Wellens, he, well, he, at times he seems a bit of a Mardy fella, but um, what, what's he like? How do you find I mean, him? What do you mean at times? He is a Mardy <laughs> fella. <laughs> I know Richie. I know Richie well. He's listen. I got a lot of time for him. He's um, he just wants to win, and you know he's um, he's one of those people who can't. Um, I want to say hide what he's thinking. So you know he uh, he opens his mouth sometimes, and you know we he's called us pub teams. He said we're not as good as the league leaders last season. It's, now, some of those, you know, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't get involved in stuff like that. I don't speak about other clubs, but look, he's fine. I've known him a long time. Um, we have a good chat afterwards. Um, but yeah, I'm actually looking forward to seeing him. Yeah. I suppose you know where you are with him. At least that's something. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't. <laughs> like I said, you can affect what what other people say. But yeah, he's uh, he's he's a funny character, Richie. They're, they're a good side, though, aren't they? They're, well, as yeah, expect well, it should, um, they should be, Chris. In all honesty, you know, there's going to be a lot of pressure on Richie. You know, um, he's he likes that. He doesn't mind that. But the size of their budget is huge. Um, the squad list they've got is very, very big, and they've got options in every position. So, look, you know, with with it, that squad, they sh you know they should be there or thereabouts. Um, you know, the goal threat, they got Henderson, Wilson, um, Tom Elliott, Ash Hunter. You know, it's um, embarrassment of riches in League Two, if I'm, if I'm honest. Um, oh, they've got goal threat, but um, we spoke briefly about him after the, the game. But David Long King, did he even surprise you by how, how good he was um, against Brighton? No. Um, it's a bit frustrating for him. It's been a frustrating time because obviously the the injury he had it was a freak injury. He, um, well, 
I've never seen anybody rip the muscle off the bone that end. It's usually the the higher end. So um, yeah, it's um, it was crazy. He's so strong. He's so quick. Very intelligent boy. Um, oh man, sorry. He's bigger than me, so I'll have to be careful. Um, and he he wants to work hard and improve. So he's um, somebody now who's got a chance. Um, and it's down to him to keep it. Um, you mentioned disaster of a week. Um, is the loan market harder now? Because I guess COVID means teams might be reluctant to weaken their own squads because you never know. Evan could be operating with, say, three down that they normally wouldn't. Yeah. Um, and this is where the beauty of, uh, I suppose, the 23s comes in. You know, a lot of teams have got under 23s, where, whereas we haven't. Um, so it gives them a bigger pool to pick from. But, you know, that's, that's how it is. It's, it's what we've got to deal with and how we've got to prepare. And hopefully I will get the players in I want. Um, Goraska, Wil Wilfred Boney, he's been training again. Is that same as last year? Same quotes as last year from you? No, he signed a three-year deal. Oh, um, there we <laughs> Two million a year. Uh, 500 grand a year sign on bonus so yeah yeah it's all done no listen he's he's here with us he's fantastic he's great around the place good for the young boys especially the young boys who've just come in on loan now as well um, you know his his quality is, is superb he's working hard to get fit and um, if I can help him out I have got no problem in doing that because like I said he is um, he's great to have around and you know, sometimes he can rub off on on the other players, which is in a positive way. Yeah, yeah. as you say, especially those young forwards that come in and never met him before, and just a little the little things help. Yeah, and obviously as well, you know, Trist, people like Tristan, and you know, I think even Kev Ellison's enjoying it. Um, so they're having a bit of banter, but it's um, it's really good. It, listen, Will fits in. With with everybody, you know, he's no ego at all on him. He's just a, a level-headed, hard-working man who wants to have an opportunity of you know playing at a high level again. All good. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Alex, can I just ask one, Mike, um, on Boney? I mean, you're obviously not going to sign him yourself, but does he look like a player who can still play at sort of the highest level to you? Um, highest level? Um, don't know. Put it this way, he can. Um, he's still got that the touches of quality. He's working on his fitness. You know, he's in. He's in good shape. Um, he's in better shape now than he was when he first came here. He's doing extras every day. Um, so look, he's he's got the determination. I'm sure if he um, was given an opportunity in in a good team, then he wouldn't let him down. That's. Um, that when you've got that quality, then you can always uh, draw on those reserves. Great, thank you. Okay, cheers. Thanks all.